My talk at TDC Europe this year uh, is about Mustang, which is a tiny game engine that is fully parallel thanks to DX11 and uh, a thread scheduler. Okay. And I've been going into explaining how the fact that it's a simple engine is actually going to be helping not just people implementing it, but also the whole of the team. So the Nostan demo shows a way to break down your game loop into one, two, three, five parts that each can be to totally parallel uh, in such a way that there is minimal waiting at in, in between those phases and mi it makes the whole game parallel. The first phase when you're updating moving the frame from the state it was at the previous frame to the frame it's going to be to the next image uh, is fully parallel thanks to a task scheduler that might be our own threading building blocks or that could be uh, something you build yourself. And the draw phase can be made parallel with DirectX 11 because it has added some features that let you send your draw code from different threads. Uh, turned out that it's not as simple uh, as I expected, but yet it worked and I could show it on stage and people seemed very interested by that. I think the, the main thing it shows is that you don't have to go into a terribly complicated system to manage to use as many calls as you may have. We were showing something that is fairly simple, it's just cubes and a, a few flying saucers going around and trying to avoid each other. Uh, that type of thing currently is going to scale on all the games where it's two calls, four calls. Uh, we were showing it on a, on a system of six core, I persuaded it to 12 threads, uh, and the system was using everything to its advantage. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, we're breaking things up in a, in a simpler way, something that anyone on the team can understand, and, and where the dependencies are, are minimized. And that's the secret, really, to see. make something that is simple. Funny as that, at some point, I really thought this was just broken and this would never work. Uh, I did the whole implementation and, and, it, and I ran that test thinking, okay, so how much do I win? And it, it was very depressing getting exactly to the millisecond the same timing between the version that wasn't using the X11 to, and the version that was using. Uh, I took a bit of thinking, realizing, stand, standing back from the problem, coming back to it to realize that the stuff it's providing is actually enough, as you can, from all the threads, create your common lists, keep them until the one frame is finished rendering. And when it's finished, then fire them all at the same time and do the next frame from the other threads, because uh, the common list contains the all of the information necessary to render it. Uh, so by that time, you can start working on the next frame and be fully parallel. So working from there, it took some time to get the architecture right. Now I've got that. I'll show you on stage this morning. I can have the CPU 100% loaded, doing actual work. Uh, so that's, that's a lot of horsepower now that you can tap into easily and use it for actual gameplay. I don't know, it's going to be like better AI, better collisions, it's going to be uh, your civilians, people not involved in the game that can do a lot more things because you've got the CPU available, use it.